I have found that I am blessed in so many ways. First and foremost is my family. The love, care, kindness and support they give to me is overwhelming. I am grateful for all that they do for me and with me every day. They are true heroes. Next are all the friends who continue to visit and keep in touch with me. Al's is intimidating. It is difficult for some to deal with all the physical changes that are happening to me. But you all must remember that I am still the same person. Inside, I am still that person that loves to know what is happening in your daily lives, your jobs and with your family. I look different, but I am the same. Remember that. Next is Concord High and the Concord community. The outpouring of love I feel from past students, parents, teachers whenever I go out always amazes me. So many people toot their horns, give a wave, stop and talk. I can feel so much love. Now, I'd like to talk about the message of the film and what it means to me. In order to be an effective educator it is essential that you have a vision, that you have a vision based on a strong philosophy, over the years aspects of my philosophy and vision have evolved, it's grown with educational research and it's been tweaked and adjusted by best practice, no matter what your career, it is important to stay current. But that should be only part of your vision. It is more important that you also have core beliefs that do not evolve or change, that do not rattle. These core beliefs are often what initially inspires an individual to enter a career or profession. And what I am coming to realize, in my old age, is that these core beliefs become your legacy, how you are remembered. Throughout my career one of my core beliefs was inclusion. The importance of inclusion was first instilled in me during my time at Springfield in my early work as an elementary physical education teacher. I saw the tangible benefits in the classroom and the gym. The type of cooperation that occurs when you have students with a range of abilities working closely together. The type of collaboration that occurs directly correlates to real-world skills. Skills that help our entire student body become more empathetic, more understanding, more well-rounded citizens. I truly believe that our public schools are the spaces where we have to be pushing for inclusion. That by pushing for inclusion in this space it ripples out into our communities and into our world. Since my diagnosis the importance of inclusion has become more clear now than ever. Not only is it a theoretical philosophy, now it is a practical reality for me. This experience reminds me of a line from the Robert Frost poem into my own. They would not find me changed from him they knew. Only more sure of all I thought was true. This experience has only made me more sure that inclusion is an essential part of education and life. Thank you.